Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Yeta Kiri. I am a U.S. Army spouse. I am German by birth and we are stationed in Ansbach, Germany. Before we start with today's video, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It's at Yeta Kiri. Link is also down below. Hit that like button on this video, the subscribe button there. And while you're at it, you might as well hit that little notification bell too. So in today's video, I want to talk to you about five things you need to be aware of when you're coming to Germany, or you could call them culture shocks, if you like, things that are different to America or other countries where you might be from when you're watching this. So the first thing I want to talk to you about is that Germans will tell you what they think. They have no problem telling you if they disagree with something that you do. So for example, we don't jaywalk. Do not jaywalk. Unless it's like, let's say the middle of the night and there is literally no one around you, don't jaywalk. We don't do that. And someone will tell you that they disagree with what you just did. The reasons we don't jaywalk is one, we like rules and we like to follow them. And two, you are a role model. You are a role model to children. And even though you might not see a child, there might be a child somewhere watching. And you got to be a good role model to them and teach them that jaywalking is dangerous and it's against the rule and it's not something you do. Also, kind of in line with that, I'm going to put the German stare. All right, Germans, if they don't tell you that they didn't like what you did, they will stare you down. Not just in situations like that. Germans generally stare. Eye contact in Germany is a polite thing a lot of the time. You have eye contact a lot with someone when you're having conversation. If you cheers your glasses, you stare that other person down. Um, it's a politeness thing, but it's also a way of a German letting you know that they disagree with what you did. The next thing I want to talk about is that personal space is not a big thing in Germany. Now, me being German, it's not something that I was ever aware of, but I get told this all the time. Um, apparently, Germans like to stand really close to one another. And as I said, I've never noticed it. So obviously to us Germans, it's not a big deal, but I've heard from other spouses here that they would be standing in the checkout line at the supermarket and someone would be standing so close behind them that they could literally feel their breath on their ear. Um, again, less so now in COVID times, obviously with social distancing, but before that, apparently that was a big thing. Um, I didn't realize we did that, but yeah, so be aware, Germans have no problem standing very, very close to you or very, very close together, um, and it's just not a big deal. Nudity and sex. So we are very liberal here. If you want to let your child run around naked while it's playing somewhere where there's a water feature in the summertime, or if it's just really hot and you are in a park and you want to let your child play naked, no problem. You know, no one's gonna take any offense in it. No one's gonna think anything. No one's gonna say anything because that's just normal to us. Also, if you want to bathe, you know, sunbathe topless or naked, even if it's a local park, it's really not that big a deal um, to us. You will find nude beaches at a lot of um, ocean front or even lakefront. You will also find that some local swimming pools will have a day or a time in the week where, you know, people can come and swim naked rather than wear their swimwear. Saunas you generally go to naked. Um, another thing that I found funny is the experience if you go to a gynecologist. So my first time getting a pap smear in Australia, they covered me up with a you know, with like a paper towel kind of thing. And I was like, what is this for? She's like, it's a, it's, you know, to give you a little bit of privacy to cover you up. And 
I was very confused because we don't do that. Like you, you take your, you know, your bottom half of your clothes off at the gynecologist behind a screen, but then you just walk out butt naked and you sit on the chair and we have those chairs where you spread your legs wide. And, um, that's just what you do. And it's to us, it's not a big deal. And same goes for sex. Like you will find in some bathrooms at bars or restaurants, um, train stations, kind of public bathrooms, you will find uh, machines for condoms, vibrating penis rings, um, also tampons and things like that. Um, you will find that, you know, things like sex shops and brothels and things like that aren't especially hidden. No, they're not often in, you know, a major shopping street, but they're not hidden. Um, also prostitution is legal in Germany, so it wouldn't be unlikely that you will see a prostitute. You might know that that is her, um, job because she won't be dressed necessarily overly naked, <laughs> but yeah, it's not that unusual. Um, I remember driving from Hamburg to um, South and we were stopping at a diner and while we were driving off the motorway, I pointed out two, um, two camper vans to him and said to him, look, that's, that's, you know, um, sex workers. And, um, he didn't believe me at first. And, and then he looked and, you know, one of the ladies was sitting in, in the front of her van waiting for a customer. So to us, all of that isn't overly strange. It's not a taboo in any way. Um, so yeah, just be prepared for a little bit more liberty when it comes to nudity and sex. Things aren't always open, especially on Sundays. So shops are closed on Sundays. It gives more family time. I think it also kind of originates from the church and Sunday being a day of rest. Um, so you can't go shopping on Sunday. So make sure you plan ahead for anything that you want to buy in the German economy. Now, at least on our post, the commissary is open on Sunday. So you can go to the commissary. The commissary is then closed on Monday, but the German shops are open again. Um, restaurants then are often closed on a Monday because obviously they make a lot of business on Sundays. So it wouldn't make sense for them to close on Sunday. So they often close on a Monday. Um, generally our shop opening times are a lot shorter than in the U S so we don't really have 24 hour shops. Maybe in a big city, you might find the odd 24 hour pharmacy or even a 24 hour supermarket, but generally shops close by 8 PM at the latest. And they open, I mean, supermarkets open between kind of 6 and 7 a.m., but then a lot of other shops won't open until 9 or 10 a.m. So um, just kind of plan ahead for things like that. Always look up when your local shops are open. Also, we don't really have 24-hour drive throughs a whole lot. Now, there are some 24-hour, you know, McDonald's or things like that, but generally it's not really a thing. Um, especially now in COVID times, it's very difficult to get takeout dinner before five o'clock, um, because, you know, it doesn't make sense for them to, to pay chefs and all that when they're not making a whole lot of business throughout the afternoon. So they open for lunch and then they open again for dinner time, especially now during COVID. So just be aware that, you know, opening times are a lot different here. In line with the Sunday thing, you have to be quiet on a Sunday. You may not mow your lawn. You may not drill inside your house. Um, just generally be quiet on a Sunday. Germans speak English. So don't feel like you can walk somewhere and talk in English and say something about another person and expect them not to understand you. They will. What I found, especially around here, is that a lot of people say they do not speak English. And let's be honest, I know you're lying. I am German. I know you speak English. Um, maybe not perfectly, but some, definitely. Even my grandmother speaks some English and she is in her mid eighties. She didn't really learn English in school a whole lot. Even she speaks English. Anyone kind of 
under the age of 50 in Germany will speak basic English. Unless they came from another country and possibly didn't go to school in Germany, then they mightn't. Um, but again, in most European countries have very good English education in their schools. So if they're under the age of 50 and they tell you they don't speak English, they're lying to you. Now that's never happened up north with anyone that I've been with that only spoke English. Um, the people around here, not, not everyone of course, but a lot of people around here aren't especially keen on the US Army being here. You will see signs that say US Army go home. So I think a lot of the I don't speak English is just the way of not wanting to deal with the Americans around here. But generally they speak and they understand English. So don't feel like you can talk English and the other person won't understand what you're saying because they will. Even if they just told you they don't speak English, they will understand what you are saying. So don't get overly comfortable with it. Just a little add on to the German stare that a lot of spouses here have told me is that you are African American or, you know, have a dark skin turn, you will get a lot more stares. And I can definitely see this happening simply because there aren't a lot of black people in Germany. Now, I'm not saying that that justifies the staring, but that's why it's happening. There aren't a lot of black people in Germany. My husband asked me how many black kids were at my school. And honestly, I can probably count them on two hands. And I was at a big school in a big, diverse city. Um, so unfortunately, if you are African American or have a dark complexion, you will face a lot more stares. Um, that would be very uncomfortable and definitely isn't right. But unfortunately, just be prepared that this might happen to you if you are, as I said, African American or have a dark skin complexion. Now, then I've actually spoken to a friend of mine here who is Muslim and wears a hijab and she says she gets less stares here than she does in the US. And again, this is because people with a hijab here are a lot more common. There is a big Muslim community in Germany, a lot of people from countries like Turkey. So seeing someone with a hijab really isn't that uncommon in Germany. Now, I'm not saying that you will not get any stares or face any kind of racism. I'm not saying that at all, but you might get less than you actually do in a lot of places in America. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, pop them down below. I will probably do another video like this with some more things that you need to be aware of in Germany. Also, some things that are a no-no in Germany, just so you know what to expect. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Please also hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, just hit that notification bell as well. If you have Instagram, head over to your Instagram app. It's at yet to carry. Hit that follow button. The link is also down below. Thanks for watching.